Hey everyone, welcome and welcome back. Today I am really excited to bring you guys a, another declutter. Oh, I can't even tell you. There's so much stuff to get rid of in this house and this is one. This is a small closet that's in the entryway of our home. Right when you walk in, it's the closet to the left. It's the closet that goes, that you pass going to the laundry room or going down the hallway or to the boys' bathroom and this closet needed to get decluttered badly. So today I will be doing that. I needed to take everything out. This closet held our vacuum, our, um, what is it our, our ironing board um all of our school supplies for the boys all the extra school supplies which still ha houses that but not as much trash and junk as it did it also held a lot of other things uh that I, that needed to go in or somewhere that i needed to find a place for and quite honestly it ended up being trashed um so if you are needing a small closet to clutter you guys this is it I, there's going to be so much stuff coming out of this little itty bitty space um as you guys saw i piled it up in here so we're going to be going through books that we had already gone through throughout the house from the boys room um this is where they all went and i will temporarily place them in a basket you guys will see that until i can find something else now these are the books that i do want to keep um i may just take them upstairs and put them on my bookshelf um, because i'm liking the idea of having having them tangible i don't want to have to put these books away they're they're all really good books and really good books for reading and and um, so I just wanted to have them available, but uh, we're gonna be decluttering this space. So again, if you are here from for some motivation um, or some inspiration, then I hope that today's video is it for you. We've got much more decluttering coming. We've got our linen closet that needs to get decluttered. I also have my TV stand. You guys, anything that's got a door or cupboard of some sort, <laughs> I need to go through because uh, if you guys know me, you guys know that once there's a door, all you have to do is close it and then voila, the mess disappears. <laughs> but I am facing all of these terrible messes, the demons in these closets, I'm facing them all. So again, I'm going to let the music play and I'll pop on uh, towards the end uh, to show you, remind you of what the before looked like and show you guys what the after looks like.
know I cannot believe how much stuff came out of this closet and how much I was able to donate I still have a bin on the table the dining room table and you guys will see this here shortly that bin has a crap ton of markers and crayons and coloring pencils and pencils and pens and so I'll be going through that separately I didn't want to bore you guys <laughs> by adding that in there just literally going through all of that stuff um, but I'll be going through that here uh, sometime this week uh, separately and just going through just needing to go through it quite honestly as I said a thousand times now but you guys the after of that closet it looks so good and I'm just you know if you guys know my my uh, my deal, you know, I'm just waiting for one of the boys to go in there and mess it all up again, but it's not going to be as bad. It's going to be, a, it's very minimal. It's, um, I'm just really enjoying that space and it's a huge, huge transformation of what it looked like before to what it looks like now. So again, if you guys are here for some motivation, I really hope that today's video provided you guys with that. I hope that today uh, inspired you to go and declutter a small space. Take one space at a time. That's what I tell everyone. That's what I tell my clients when I go in and help declutter their home. Um, you can have as much as you want in your home. That is your choice. No one is to tell you any different. If you feel comfortable with having it, more power to you. But if you're wanting to declutter that space, remember to take it one step at a time, one space at a time. It becomes very overwhelming. It becomes uh, just, uh, it triggers a lot of feelings and emotions that we don't need to, to have part of when it comes to decluttering the space. Um, but again, I'm just happy about how it all transformed. And here's the before to remind you guys of what it looked like before we were able to go through it and get rid of so much. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys, uh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Insane. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and it brought you some motivation and inspired you to do a little space, one space at a time, one cabinet at a time. Um, if not for yourself, for someone else. And I will see you guys in the next one. Much love and God bless.